Alright guys, we're going to do a disassembly video of the Tika T3X Type A1. Uh, it comes with all the tools you're, you'll need. 3mm hex key, 5mm hex key, uh, and I don't know how big this one is, but it's for the action screws. Um, so yeah, we're going to take it apart. Step one, obviously, is to make sure it's clear. Drop your magazine visually, inspect the chamber. This one's clear. So step one is to remove your handguard. very simple simply loosen the screws and these screws actually go through the barrel nut and they do have washers on them too so be aware of that and then hand guard slides off so that's done um, to remove your action you will start with this one. I think technically, yeah, this is designed to remove the pistol grip first. So this hex key works a little better for me in this. Uh, so if you're taking yours down with the factory tools, remove your, uh, your pistol grip first. Okay, so then there's your action screws. These have two lock washers on them, so note the orientation these action screws are the same length unlike a lot of other rifles but one thing you'll notice it's different on the Tika here is there are some screws in the front here on the the barrel nut housing if you will that will have to be removed as well and these ones are kind of a little goofy because of the angle on the barrel here a uh, ball head allen key would be ideal for for this job of course but I don't have one here. So we will remove that screw and this screw here. And that's it. Chassis off, barreled action out. You have your ability to adjust your trigger now right here with your uh, set screw. Um, I don't know why you would take this rifle down to this. Um, I mean, to adjust your trigger, obviously. I've had a, about a thousand rounds through mine. At this point, I've found no reason to remove it from the chassis or take the handguard down at all. So uh, use your own judgment, but the more you get to taking your gun apart, the more likely you are to lose screws and screw up stuff. So uh, I don't really recommend it unless you have to, uh, or if you're running really hard matches and getting your gun super dirty and gunked up on the inside, I guess. Even then, I'd probably just spray it out with a hose or something. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's it.